it's something that, you know, being a designer, a lot of times you're behind the scenes. Like you don't actually get to say, or the company doesn't come out and say, hey, this is who did this, you know? Especially in skateboarding. Welcome back We're to back. Chop Up. It's been a minute. I got to break the chair in. Yeah, I no one right? sat here in a while, they're, they're you know? Kind of kind of stiff. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't been in here in a while, especially you you and I. It's been a while. It was yeah. nice holding the mic. Yep. It's like old times. Totally. We are uh, episode 57 now. It feels, you know, I lost track. It feels like it could be a hundreds, you yeah. know, because it's been yeah. a while. So. Yeah. yeah, we've been doing... Uh, a little bit more on the interview side, you know, with like Tinker and Dan from Valhalla and Invisible Creature and um Hold on, Tinker Hatfield? Yes, Tinker Hatfield. The legend? Yes. I wasn't here for that yeah. one, but damn, that's uh if we knew before we started this that we were going to get that interview, I would have said like no way. Like yeah. you're lying. So yeah. That was cool. You know, it was something that Wanted him to speak at the event. He couldn't make that happen. So he was like, I'm down to come to the studio. I'm like, oh, shit, okay. Could, maybe that's even better. Yeah. So, yeah, it was good. But we're going to try and get, especially kind of rolling into next year, try and get back to a little bit more of the uh, digging into projects and things, you yeah. know, sitting down in the studio with us. I do enjoy the interviewing of our peers and designers and totally. things like that. Like, I don't want to lose that. I especially enjoy it when we can go out and do it you know like the eye creature thing was like that was amazing that was fire yeah yeah so let's kick this off so i got back not too long ago from adobe max um first time going you know probably something should have done a long time ago it's just always been you know it's a high price point um i'm not that big into software conferences you know what i mean creative conferences yes but something you know any software and that's kind of what it is in a way totally but they do obviously have you know keynote speakers and and a bunch of creatives there um but i was i was impressed i mean it's you know i was told going there it's massive and sure shit you know you got seven eight thousand people like it's huge wow you know? that's a lot yeah it i mean was, w- us doing our own going yeah. to some of the other of our friends events yeah. seven eight thousand people yeah that's crazy I mean, we did two, three hundred, and that was yeah. pretty crazy as well. So, gosh, it was cool. You know, we had a booth for a day, just kind of a quick like eight a.m. to eight p.m. kind of merch selling uh, run. Next year, I want to do it bigger, better, and so we'll see. Someone else had a van, a vehicle inside the space. Absolutely, not going to say any names. Yep, <laughs> he's awesome. Yes, we want it. We have a vehicle as well. Yeah, I, I, w- I would like that vehicle there inside. Yep, we've driven many times uh, Portland down to L.A., so I got no problem doing that. So Let's I'm just going to get that lined up and. And we'll head on down. Yeah, so stay tuned. Um, oh, let's address real quick. So uh, first year in a while that we are not doing decon. Damn. We should actually, I mean, what is it? We should be heading down right now. Last year, they made a decision to move it to December. Right before Christmas. Yeah, 14th, 15th or something. So we're like, well, we can't make it happen. Like, it's way too close to Christmas. And Well, hopefully they change the dates next year. I hope so. And we can circle back because it's super fun. It's it a little is. different. Yeah. You know, a lot of these other conferences are very graphic design, illustration based, where yep. Decon is like a mix between Toys complex and con and, and yep. it's just a great mix. So, it is. yeah, we got to get back there. Yeah, it ain't over. I heard some rumblings about it being in Vegas, which would be oh. even even better. I haven't so. been to Vegas in a while. Yeah, we yeah. I think last time I went was with you. Yeah, probably. which was a long yeah. time ago. Yep, we'll we'll drive the the RV to Vegas. So, all right. Well, so I want to touch on a project that we did last year that I don't think we ever really highlighted. It was kind of a passion project for me in a way, and nobody's really seen it because it's just for clients, but we ended up partnering with a whiskey company uh, called Savage and Cook in Vallejo, California. So they actually have a whiskey with Scotty Pippen from the Bulls. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. He has his own whiskey with them, which is kind of cool. So went down there, went to Napa Valley for the first time, super rad. Went to Savage and Cook, beautiful, like, I would say it's like a campus, like just huge facility on an old abandoned, um, I think it's like a Navy base down there. We'll pop up, Jake can pop up some photos of their their headquarters. Um, But anyways, partnered with them, produced 72 bottles of our own Lincoln Black Axe whiskey, 
and yeah, so we're super stoked on it. So in the pa- like in the past, we've done some label designs for yep. clients. Yeah, and you know it's awesome. You make the yeah. the file, fit it in the die line, and send it off, and yep. that's it. Yeah, maybe you see it in the store. Where this, I mean, I think you chose the bottle, maybe right? We got to pick the bottle, yep. which is that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's different. Yep. Um, and, and I and it's I black. You can't see the liquid. So I question the bottle still. Yeah, to I this, love the bottle to this day. Yeah. Like visually, I was like, oh, it has to be this bottle black. Yeah. And then once I got it and you have it, to me, it's kind of weird that you can't. And the bottle's so heavy, you can't tell really if it's empty or full. Yeah. You know, so you're kind of like, I can't even look at it and see how much, you know, how much is left in there. But it looks cool. You know, it's got. I mean, I don't, I'm not a big alcohol guy. I mean, I stick to my beers, but yeah. uh, visually it looks awesome. But I could see your point. It's like, is there, how much is in there? Is yeah. it all yeah. almost gone? Yeah. It sounds like that's a good reason to make a second bottle. In the future. True. Absolutely. The reason I grabbed, I wanted this bottle too, is what you don't really notice is this cork is, can you get that thing off there? It's glass, which I was like super hyped on. Um, So yeah, look at that thing. Glass cork, like love that. Um, Packaging fail on my part. So we, we get the bottles, like they come like this. I'm like, I'd love to, to do a basically gold dipped, you know, wax on top, which is kind of like the classic whiskey thing, right? Yeah. You know, Maker's Mark and, you know, some, some other companies do that. I didn't really do much research on the whole deal. I did research on what wax to use to make sure it dries. So, right. Did all these in the kitchen. Food safe. Yeah. Kitchen at home. Did not realize that you have to like almost all of them that are done like this. You wrap a, basically a wire around there. That's kind of hanging out. Then you dip it so you can grab the wire, unwrap it, and then it pops off. Right. These are crazy hard to get into. I've almost cut my hand a couple of times <laughs> trying to cut through that wax just to get the top off, and it sucks. I think we're actually starting this filming late because we were uh, yeah we had to get the, we the axe out trying to trying open to get that, that thing, thing open. Yeah, but let's uh, let's back up and let's talk about this label design. Hell yeah, dude! And before we can do that, we got to talk about who worked on the initial comps. Okay. In our addition to the team here at Lincoln. Hell yeah, we got some some news f- for y'all. Yep, yep, we got a new designer here at Lincoln. Hell so yeah. we're gonna get him in here, and he's gonna kick in on on this whole deal. Let's do it. Bring him All in. All right, bring him in. All right, so we got Tim in the house, newest member. That's me. Yes. He hit the ground running. Yeah, trying to anyway. I mean, it just feels like he's one of the dudes, and he's yeah. been here. So that's an awesome piece of the puzzle, you know. I mean, obviously, I mean Dan taught this to me decades ago. Uh, you got to be able to like hang with the dude and then he's got to be good. So yeah. we knew he was good already. So yeah. well, and coming in, I didn't know what to expect with all of you, you know, like yeah. I know I love the work and everything, but you never know if it's going to click. Um, and it's definitely great. Like as soon as I got in hanging out with all of you felt like old friends almost, you know, so it's pretty, pretty easy going on my end. Yeah. Just a good natural fit overall. And yeah. dude's hella good at fingerboarding. <laughs> and well, what's the what's the other thing that you got going? And kendama. Couldn't, yeah, it's yeah. like a Japanese skill toy wooden thing, and uh, yeah. it's which so is super fun. popular these days. So. Yeah, it's uh, definitely taken off, and uh, I it, I don't know. I spent like a few years like getting super obsessed with that. So when I came in and saw that you guys were into fingerboards and everything, it was definitely like, I was like, Oh, it's my people for sure. That's cool. And then Jordan's got all the other stuff too, the toys. So yeah. it like goes in line with foot bag, fingerboard, kendama. Yeah. I'd say. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Well, cool. Welcome to the team. I mean, you've been here a little bit now, so you're yeah. knee deep in a bunch of Fortnite projects and things. So yep. yeah, we're Thank stoked, you. stoked to have you on the team. Glad to be here. Hell Glad yeah. To be happy here. Cool. Well, let's go backwards because one of the first projects I kind of had you work on um, was this whiskey label. Yeah. Doing comps for this. Mm-hmm. So before we do that, let's uh, let's get a glass here. All right. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Boys. Oh, here it is. Yeah. All right. On. So let's dig into this. So had the bottle picked. Um, so kind of typical with a lot of our things, we're getting ready for our retreat. So when we do things internally, it's almost like not only come up with a design, but come up with a name for it, right? We have a retreat coming up, got a new name for the retreat. Every year there's a name. Which that's the hardest part. Let's be it kind real. of is. Like the yeah. design's the fun you know? shit, but the name, yeah. like, gosh, that's hard. Usually yeah. the client comes to us with, here's the copy. And exactly. it's like, great, we'll make yeah. that look good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So 
Ended up rolling with a black axe, so wanted to tie something to Lincoln. Um, just kind of made sense with the bottle and everything. Like I said, the bottle and packaging was kind of set. Now it was just up to the name, label, and kind of what what that was going to look like. So I remember I sent you, Tim, kind of images of the bottle and then some assets from Lincoln to use. Mm-hmm. And then kind of let you let you run with it. Yeah. Now, you probably haven't seen these in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a oh, minute, boy, right? I hope these are looking all right. <laughs> all right. I actually didn't know what to expect because at the time your portfolio was just different stuff. So definitely when this was sent through, I was like, Oh shit. Like, you know, I'm impressed. Like this is not what his kind of website style looked like. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I it's definitely an interesting one. Cause it was coming in and I was like, this, I mean, it's not my favorite, you know, like thing yeah. that I like to do. And this is the first one that I'm working on for them, you know? So I was like, all right, we got to figure this shit you out. And you just uh, cranked on it and did it. Yeah. And I feel like whiskey labels <clears throat> these days have such a graphic language that is pretty kind of normal and universal now so it's like yeah you either have to hit that which is a lot of detail or mm -hmm. go so off the like right deep end that it's just different so yeah. which maybe uh in general i'd say chad michael studios yeah, is the guy yeah. the baseline yeah, or the, the you know the bar for all whiskey design yeah. so uh, yeah yeah that check them out and uh strange and stranger if you haven't seen that <clears throat> go to their website they're like in the uk okay they almost do nothing but spirits. It's like, I mean, it's whiskey, vodka, it's, it's everything, but they go like pretty left field on a lot of stuff. It's super good. I love it. And look at their logo. Their logo is super sick. So yeah, so Tim, you sent over the two comps, which were solid comps. We had that type that you were working with. Which are that, that piece of type we had from Damaso from a long time ago, from I think, long, right? Yep. Um, yep. So that's fun. Like we got to yeah. bring that back somewhere, yeah. somehow, maybe a new t-shirt next season or... It's a good, good piece of type. Yep. I think that's a similar problem we always have is we just have so many old Lincoln assets or mm -hmm. unused Lincoln assets that it's like, we should use that. Or we're, we're talking about updating the website right now. And it's like, oh, we should put that one thing on there. And then it's like, oh, but how about this one? And then that one. And yeah. then it just is never ending. Or it's even kind of funny too, like walking around here, I feel like I see all kinds of little logos that like, you know, like you guys probably don't even think about or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, this one's sick. Like, yeah. and it's never probably been don't used. even use it's, it, yeah. you know, like. Or shown <laughs> or even out of this building. So. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this was your type. Uh-huh. Yeah. This one. Yep. Yeah. So the, good. the first one, I had the type for it and I was like, I might yeah. as well kind of like try my own thing on this one. So. Yeah. Kind of did that. No, it's cool. And this one was closest. Um, I love the L and the N yeah. symmetrical fill. I mean, personally, as a type guy, I, I love that. It, it always just feels like it sits well, and you got the two swashes. So yeah, overall dope. And L's are not easy to work with. So yeah. Dan will tell you he's done a million Lincoln logos. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a pain in the ass. You did it. Yeah, <laughs> the whole lockup of Lincoln, the, those letters can be tough. Yeah, yeah. I think the end product is a great mashup of all these pieces together yeah uh, yeah and it, it turned out fire yeah it was definitely i have to like tim's here on the right and then kind of the start of the old old designs that then we kind of reworked to make into the lincoln black axe ones so it was kind of a combination of what tim was doing and then going back and looking at what we had done in the past so <coughs> That's kind of where we ended up on the on these final ones here. So and the end version's amazing, like that. Yeah. The the Lincoln with the axe is just yeah, that shit's fire. Yeah. And like looking at this after the fact, it was kind of funny because I wasn't there, and then yeah. I see it, and I'm like, yeah. oh, did I fuck up or what? Yeah. But, like, but this is sick, you know. I'm like, this is definitely the way to go. Yeah. Like it's very cool uh, how it ended up. Yeah, and it was nothing on your designs. It was just kind of combining a little bit of everything, you know, and looking back yeah. and going, oh shit. Because yours were falling in line with some of the stuff we had done for them, you know, Cause so it kind of sparked this, my memory to be like, we did stuff like this. Let me look at that, you know. Totally. So, Yeah, it's always, like, interesting seeing how the project will come to fruition, yeah. especially if we send stuff off to the client and then what you did is modified and you're like, they hate me for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But then if you ever find out, it's just like, you know, the sales rep wanted it red instead of blue and... Yeah. Just interesting pieces of the puzzle. So, yeah. I mean, it's cool to see, like, it's the same everywhere, even here, you know, like yeah. you guys are going through the same thing that a lot of the clients are going through sometimes, you know, yeah. like, and that's an interesting side of it, you know, like you got to yeah. make those calls as well. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So design's done. We're kind of like, okay, what, what does the label look like? What is it printed on? So we ended up getting just a shit ton of samples yeah, of from, like, so Zarko. Shout yeah. out to Trevor. Hold up. Yeah. Trevor. <laughs> 
Trevor is the man. Yeah, he's like the uh, unofficial. He's kind of how Capadonna was, the, you know, the Tim. member. This, this is him, you know. Yeah, I mean, he sent like I'm talking. You got you got foil labels. You got craft labels. You got gold labels. You got white. You got matte. You got gloss. Gosh, he black and white versions, sizes, everything specked out. Three mil vinyl, matte laminate, size of the label. So like he just sent over just so many options, which is amazing, you know, for a designer to to be able to pick and choose and kind of figure out what's going to work best. But so. we ended up going with this kind of matte. It's kind of like a matte um, black label on there, front and back. So pretty happy with how that turned out. Hold on, you said black label. That's going to be a segue into the next combo. We'll get there yes, a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get there soon. Um, so yeah, so that's it for that project. We do have, like I mentioned, uh, Jake and I have been traveling around a little bit. We have some other things coming out in the whiskey space uh, here in the next year. So excited to show some of that and announce that later on. But I mean, it's a super cool space to get to design for. I mean, I think like a lot of designers are wanting to do skateboards, yeah. and which is like hard to even get that. And then yeah. to do the design and then it gets produced is like just so rare. Yeah. Shoes are hard to come by. Yeah. Any sort of label on a bottle or a can is like just so hard to get. So yeah. um, there should be some some cool bottles here yeah. in the future coming out. Absolutely. So yeah, Tim, stoked to have you on the team. Stoked to be here. Excited oh, yeah. you could uh, could help out with this project. Yeah, and it's yeah, fun. You got to take a bottle home today before you leave. So of course, absolutely. And I think what we'll have the pre order up for the t shirt <laughs> here by the end. Of the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we gotta get t shirts going. T-shirt. Yeah, yep. That yeah. shit's too sick. It, I mean. it is. Yeah, that'll be coming. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, thank cool. you, Tim. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yep. So let's wrap up the whiskey. So got the bottle. 72 bottles come. So you got to. That's a lot of bottles. What do you, yeah. What are you going to do? You got to do a uh, photo shoot. So yeah, Jake too. Langston, you know, puts down the video camera, shoots, shoots the still, sets the whole thing up. And we got some great photos with the Lincoln Axe and. And a cigar and the whole deal. I mean, so. look at the smoke. Did you? Is that a Chat GBT? Is that a? <laughs> is that AI? Or you guys? Is, is that pre, real smoke? This is pre AI. Damn. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This is a year ago. So yeah. which is pre like yeah. freaking AI. All that shit wasn't out. Yeah. Yet. Stoked on that fun fun project. So let's roll into uh, street street plant here and uh, Mike V. Just yeah, f- to me more so Mike V. It's like yes. wherever he oh, goes, it's game. like the brand could be. Elephant or black yeah. label or street plant, it doesn't matter. It's yeah. it's Mike V is the underlying tone. Yeah. Um, even the fact that he's the singer, for, or the new lead singer for Black Flag is crazy. Like, what the hell? Crazy story. Uh, I had to double check that when Brandon said that you yeah, know, years it, back. I'm like, nah, you're lying. But yeah. checks out. Brandon's it's, like casually like, no, no, yeah. like he's the lead singer yeah. of Black Flag. I'm like, like the Black Flag? Like, yeah. No. And Not a shit. cover band. Yeah. The <laughs> one. Yeah. So this came about at Dew Tour, oh. Des Moines, Iowa. We did all the, the graphics, so I flew out just to, to spend a day or two, check it out. Met up with uh, Scotty Russell. Oh, yeah. um, hung out with him. I was leaving. Mike V's walking into the, to the event, and I stopped him. I go, hey, I go, Mike, Mike, can I get a quick photo? He goes, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I had a Lincoln hat on. He goes, oh, Lincoln. I go, yeah, Why? He goes, oh, I, I know, I know Lincoln. I go, oh, well, you know, I, I own it. And he goes, oh shit. And he goes, what are you doing here? I go, well, we did all the marketing and design for the whole event. And he goes, oh shit, no wonder that it looks so good. I'm like, dude, thanks, man. I'm like, I'm fucking floored that you know like who Lincoln is. I'm yeah. like, I obviously know who you are, and I, you know, can I get a quick photo? But I remember being at home and getting a text message of like, look who I ran into, and I'm yeah. like, damn, like yeah. that. I mean. Who else could you have ran into that would have been better? Like, that's it, you know? And you're in yeah. Iowa. Yeah. He lives there he now. He lives there, yeah. It, it was the universe's aligning because it was meant to happen, you know? It was, yeah. So he's like, hey, hit me up after this, and, uh, you know, let's talk about some boards or something. So sure shit, do that, and, you know, and here we are. Well, I have, well, real quick, I have this old. OG one. Yes, this old board Signed, from him. Signed, numbered. Like. You got it, the bolt on there. Yep. This is a reissue. I wish this was an original, but it's uh, okay. Yeah, we'll let it slide. I mean, I was skating back when Public Domain came out, and like Mike and I are like a similar age. Oh, just um, look at the nose on that damn skateboard, dude. The whole thing is super flat. You are not like, doing any. Like, look at that thing. I think I feel like someone does like <laughs> nolly big spin off one of these boards. How the hell? Yeah. No. And the two color top print. Yep. That's, yeah. That's 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 tight. It's. I mean, he's a legend in in the industry and. And everything like we were talking about earlier, his uh, TV show Drive. 
Super cool. Super, Super different. Yeah. Even to go back, I mean, I, I'm going to pull up an episode later, and I feel like it's got to still hit today. I mean, it's just, yeah. like, good watching. Yeah. Uh, you don't even have to like skateboarding. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, dude's just, like, an epic guy. I feel like he maybe get a little bit of a bad rap for some of the older antics that you may see online, but mm-hmm. he just seems to be, like, the coolest dude, down to earth, regular. I mean, the new business, I believe he owns it with his daughter, which is like so. fucking awesome. Like, yep. I feel like, yeah, nothing cooler than owning a business with your, with your, uh, you know, daughter. Yeah. That's awesome. So for sure. And, uh, the boards turned out just super sick. The graphics dude, are amazing. So, yeah. But the shapes, holy yeah. shit. Hold on. What hold, is this? Hold that one up. What the hell? This so, is a 10.25. <laughs> Gosh. That thing is crazy. So that's the one thing a lot of times we don't have control of over in the in the skate industry is like you do a graphic, you send it off. It, it depends. It's up to them as far as like the veneer, you know, if it is a veneer, if it's actually a dip board painted, whatever it is. Um, but once we saw these go up and Mike was promoting them, it was like, oh, dude, he he killed it. He did them justice. For so sure. there, there's four boards and yeah. we have an array of sizes, which I yeah. I really love. I mean, we got this like nice shovel nose. It's massive and it's a PS stick. So, you know, it's going to fucking hold up. It's a, basically the best board. Yeah. Um, if you came to our Into the Woods, Johnny, Johnny Schuller, if was talking about PS sticks from back in the whatever 80s, you know. Uh, yeah, th- I mean, this is Dustin's. Got, yeah, yep. I don't, I don't be drawing, but I somehow snuck one in here. <laughs> uh, eight point eight, like also massive. Uh, that we got, we got a nose. You can actually pop something yeah. off this nose, you know, compared to the other one. For sure. Um, and then the veneer, just like great touch, you know, yeah. good colors. Usually, if you get a veneer, they're random assorted colors. The fact yeah. that they're all this blue tone, yeah. he paid extra for that. He did. He cares. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one of my favorites, just from a historical standpoint. Well, the board shape alone is like, this just looks like a, a big old <laughs> I thumb. Uh, I love it. Personally, yeah. I just, yeah, this is great. Yeah. We got a 9.5. This is just looking to get slappied yeah. up all over, you know, but yeah. I mean, look at this board from a historical standpoint. What is it? The barnyard board? Yeah, the barnyard board. World so, Industries. Yep. Uh, a more modern take on that. You know, you and got his bolt, you know, Mike's bolt that he's got tattooed on his arm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, all that pieces in it, just like the concept, of, I love it, you know. And yep. and what's the funny story about this? It was uh, he wanted it to be like a vegan board, or what was that? And then it ended up being like, yeah, the slaughter. Yeah, sending him to the slaughter. It was like, <laughs> yeah, kind of the On opposite. The farm, yeah. yeah, I mean that's some like uh, what's that fucking legend? World, I mean, it's World Industries and uh, Rocco. Ne- that was just yep. some typical Rocco shit, where he was yep. just like really shaking up the industry at that time. Yeah. What? Where's like the? What is? Hey, what is Rocco doing now? If anybody knows what Rocco's doing now, could you put it in the fucking comments? I have no idea. And uh, yeah. is he alive? You know, um, who knows? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, but yeah, this was kind of um, you know we've done done a lot of board graphics, a lot of different companies in the industry. This is this is up there at the very very top. You know, just oh, yeah. a legend um, to be a part of. You know, his brand and and have a series of four boards like. Super, and, super excited. And the way he did it is just like, you know, sometimes you'll get usually, I don't know, 32 boards in a line. Yeah. You may have two or three. Awesome. I mean, we have the whole capsule, which is yeah. crazy. And then it's not like a big conglomerate. There's no, you know, hidden investors. I mean, this is just Mike and his daughter doing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I think shipping him out of his garage, like, mm-hmm. it's just kind of getting back to the DIY, DIY roots of what skateboarding is. Like, with, there doesn't need to be this extravagant thing. It's just... Badass boards, yep. badass shapes. Makes me want to skate, honestly. <laughs> and w- when he released them, like, he gave us a ton of props. Like, he put our logo on there, like, by Lincoln, which is amazing. Like, that's, you know, it's something that, you know, being a z- designer, a lot of times you're behind the scenes. Like, totally. you don't actually get to say, or the company doesn't come out and say, hey, oh, yeah. this is who did this, you know? Especially in skateboarding, yeah. unless you're one of the three... Yeah, you know, yeah, McKees, but it's Cliver, and neck yeah, face. Yep, but yeah. other than that, yeah, they're not giving yep. you that much prop. So, literally every piece of the the puzzle of of how it went was like the dopest, you know. Mm-hmm. And for a second, because you never know, it's like shit. Are these gonna come out? We yeah. did these like a year ago ish, and it's like, yep. and you just get see them one day. You get an email, and it's like, oh shit, like, <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. freaking dope. I mean, yeah. I don't know for me personally, what would be better than this? I don't know. Like, yeah, pretty dope. Well. 
Dave might think this is this <laughs> next project is true. Just as cool for yep. him, you know. Yeah, so let's keep it moving. So thank you, Mike. Yeah, stoked on that whole Legend. collaboration. We love you. Yep. For sure. Let's uh let's jump into another one. Yeah, that Dave, we're gonna pull Dave T- Tolbert in here because I'm sure he's pretty stoked on this project. In about maybe twenty years, he'll probably run for the mayor of Philadelphia. He represents Philly super hard. And uh yeah, we had a WrestleMania logo come through that is happening in Philly. A bunch of designers kicked in pieces, and Dave's was picked. I mean, I think it was meant to be. We got Dave Tolbert in the house. Hey. What's happening? Oh, you know, just making the designs, busting the logos. Hell yeah. Well, we're going we're gonna to talk about one here that I think uh, hits home with you. But before we do that, tomorrow's your birthday, right? That's right. Ooh, hell yeah. So you, you want a whiskey for this little sit down or what? I would love one. Yeah? Yes. Cheers. All right. So yeah, I mean, we got the we got the WrestleMania logo up here. I th- I'm pretty sure a bunch of dudes kicked in on this, but I think the universe had their own thoughts about this. You know, we got we got the guy from Philly. You know, that's right. I mentioned earlier he's probably gonna run for mayor in like 20 years, maybe 30. <laughs> He'll win. Grease the polls. <laughs> Hold on, can we, you can edit this out, Jake, if you want. They gr- put grease on the light poles so people don't climb them when the when the games happen. Seriously? Slide, eagle, slide. Philadelphia police were greasing poles around the city today trying to keep fans from climbing them after tonight's game. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's become a tradition at this point. Anytime <laughs> any team gets close to winning a yeah. championship, so just they start greasing the poles up because idiots just no climb the street signs, the, yeah. the street just lights. The wildest shit I ever heard. So imagine if you're you and your wife, dressed nice, going to yeah. dinner. You bump into one of these greasy yeah. poles. Your shit's ruined. I mean, that's what? funny. And then they, they have to store the grease somewhere. They have to buy the grease. Oh, like, yeah. imagine the logistics of the grease. The yeah. grease, there's a grease guy. Oh, it's a whole grease economy out that way. <laughs> the, Philly's a whole different world. This shit is just blows my mind. Oh. So, anyways, the universe had their own thing, uh, you know, in their mind. And Dave got the Philly logo. I think it was meant to be. WWE WrestleMania 40. 40. That's, a, yep. that's a big one. That's a milestone for them. That is. Yeah. This uh, coming up in April. Yeah. In in Philadelphia. Yeah. They're having it at <clears throat> Lincoln Financial Field. This is where the oh. Eagles play. So it's a pretty big stadium. And it's called Lincoln? It is. Lincoln Financial yeah, Field. Yeah. Like more. All yeah. The stars are aligning. Yeah. I'm working on getting tickets. We're Sweet. Going. Yeah. You're, yeah. Yeah. For I'm sure. there. Yep. Yeah. Do you think they'll grease the poles for this WrestleMania? I don't know. I think the wrestling crowd does get kind of rowdy, so there's a good chance. Shit. Hey, I, I've been to WrestleMania because they've been a client for a long time. They used to give us free tickets. Now it's a little harder. It's, um, I went to uh, – it was in New Orleans, and the night before WrestleMania, walking down Bourbon Street. Dude, I've, ne- <laughs> I've never seen more grown men, like, overweight with their shirts off and a belt on. Or like three belts around their shoulders, yeah. no shirt, like beer, like cruising up and down the street. I was like, "Well, this is wild." Like, so there's a lot. That's of- a different crowd. I don't know that those people are climbing poles. I don't know they can get up on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right about that. <laughs> but I've yes. never been to an event, so I'm really interested okay. to see yeah. what it's all about. I know we do a lot of work for WWE, but like this is definitely one of the bigger. This is, this is logos this, that has come through. This is the Super Massive, Bowl, dude. Yeah. I mean, and it's the 40th, so that's huge. Mm-hmm. They just teamed up with, uh, you know, they're bought out or merged, and yeah. it seems like they're they're bigger than ever. So it's yep. it should be should be massive. Yeah, yeah. One of the things I love about it is when they announce these events, yeah. like how big they blow out just the announcement. Like, so Jake will pop up the announcement. Give me that bell. That was the first time I really got to see like, oh, the shoot, because we'll do projects like this and like y- you guys, like everybody's kind of seen some of these comps and it'll kind of get narrowed down. But then similar to the skateboards, so, like you don't really know what that final product's going to look like until it comes out type of thing, you know, um, and when the announcement for the logo at one of their events, 
they had like the cheerleaders and it like boom and the freaking logo comes out. We have the video. We'll pop it up. But yeah. So you got the the Liberty Bell on there. Is that what that's called? That's the Liberty Bell. Tell me about that thing. It's cracked in half. Yeah. Um, to be honest, my history on the Liberty Bell isn't great. I lived in Philly for 10 years. I grew up right outside of Philly, and I didn't actually go see the Liberty Bell till after I moved out of the city. Damn, right? <laughs> I lived there 10 years without seeing that thing. That's probably so, common for a lot of yeah Philadelphians. Yeah, and, you know, in person, it's – I don't want to say it's underwhelming. There's a ton of history around it, but it's just, yeah. It's just a, a bell. A cracked bell. All right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they dropped it or something like that when they were moving it. <laughs> it wasn't even that yeah. that amazing how it got cracked. Yeah. All right. Well, this – I mean, you, you guys crushed it on this project, and it went in a lot of different directions, remember, with the eagle, and they, like, committed to, like, an eagle at one point, and then it yeah. came back, and – and it was like it didn't want it to look like the Philadelphia Eagles eagle. And can we do a chrome eagle? Remember all those mm-hmm. different comps? Like there was a lot more that went into this than kind of what you're, what we're seeing here. But I mean, the bell makes perfect sense. It does for iconography. Yeah. It, it kind of has to be the bell. Of course, yeah. it's the bell. So yeah. I mean, I don't know what else is you know that popular in in Philly for iconography. Um, maybe like the Love Park sign, <laughs> but that's going to resonate more with skaters Skating, than yeah. like that the, is a good sign. Yeah. The, wrestling crowd yeah hell yeah the render looks sick too the render's great yeah you did a good job on that i'm digging it dude. yeah it's fun yeah and even the type still kind of gives a nod to like the philadelphia eagles mm-hmm. um type yeah, so yeah the colors well it's gonna be a dope event the 40th wrestlemania i'm sure they're gonna have some big ass wrestlers you know the rock versus whoever i'm yeah, sure it's gonna be, be huge oh so look at so we gotta buy some of this so the merch is coming out. It's always fun to see what they do with the merch. Um, there's a helmet. You can buy the helmet on WWE's website, football helmet. Football with, helmet with, with the, the big wrestling ass, big logo. Ass, the big ass logo. I love it. it. That's fire. I'm questioning, uh, if you see that sweatshirt, I'm questioning the use of that font, um, Philly. Ooh, and the texture on yeah, there, too, you with see the stars. That? Yeah. I just feel feel for the person who had to warp that hat graphic on the hat. That's like a proper warp going on there. Yeah. And I don't know if that was uh you know AI that did that. I think a person did that. So <laughs> I feel for that person. Yep. So the merch is coming out. I, I was looking around online and there's all this stuff online about basically people kind of like come up with ideas of like basically who who who's the headliner. Who's re- is, is oh, it yeah. The Rock? Like, you know, who's wrestling? What's going to be the mm-hmm. big deal with the event? So they haven't announced anything yet. Um, but, yeah, people are, are throwing things out there. But, yeah, turned out great. Dave crushed it again on the logos. And, you like you said, I mean, we do a lot of work for them on event logos similar to this. Um, but WrestleMania is the Super Bowl of their, you know, property and, and company. So, it was cool to, to see you get that and then in your hometown. And yeah. yeah. And the other guys did great work, too. Richard yeah. threw in an awesome eagle, and Jordan yeah. had a real, like, bicentennial vibe one that mm-hmm. I was I thought was going to be the one, personally. But, yeah, they yeah. went with more of a, a rendered-out dimensional one, which is, which is cool to see. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Well, we got to get out there, figure that out, be in Philly in April. Yeah, I'll give you a little tour around. Yeah, Philly cheesesteaks. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I heard yeah. you're going to make those at the retreat. Damn right. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that is it for this chop up. We actually need to uh, to get some work done, and we got a retreat coming up. Yeah, pretty, quickly. Pretty yes. hyped for that. We got a, a 20 room chateau. Yes. It looks freaking nice. On the lake. I'm hyped. On the lake. Bend, Oregon. Out in Bend. There's a real good chance that there's the house is covered in snow because it's like up yeah. about four or five thousand feet so i'm excited <laughs> i hope there is i do too dustin challenged me to a snowball fight so it's on <laughs> game on i'm ready hell yeah <laughs> yep perfect well yeah well it's been good um yeah hit us up with uh, questions on youtube i, I want to hear if anybody do you like the interview style when we do have people in the studio when we go out and interview different designers and creatives would you rather have us dig in the projects you know like i mentioned in the beginning we, we like both you know we we went this year a little bit heavier on interviews with you know colleagues and things in the design industry but but yeah let us know cool yeah hit us up let us know any questions subscribe follow ring the bell all the things <laughs> we'll see you next time <laughs>